Hey everyone, welcome. I bet my money that if I was to ask you about the memorable product introductions from March of 2023, most of you, including myself, would probably say SRAM T-Type transmission. However, a few weeks prior to that, Shimano introduced this, Shimano Qs, a new group set that's supposed to bring compatibility for those entry-level bikes. Thanks to Paul at Bike Components, I have with me today one of their new cranks. And surprise, surprise, these cranks use a different design compared to everything that Shimano has put out in the last 20 years or so. And I truly believe that this is probably gonna be the design that we're gonna see in the future mountain biking group sets. So let's take a closer look at this. But first things first, what does Shimano Qs even mean? And if you open a browser and you type that in, you're gonna be surprised to see this. Creating unique experiences. And that means a complete overhaul of their entry level or budget oriented group sets. And that also means the killer of a few group sets that I've reviewed in the past here on my channel. I'm talking about the M4100 10 speed, M5100, 11 speed and there is also a few other group sets that might disappear shimano just keeping the tourney as their only entry level group set from the past but why did i say that these are completely redesigned and first of all no they're not going to a 30 millimeter spindle you can still see the 24 millimeter steel spindle that they've been using for the longest time however spindle is connected to the left side or the non-drive side crank arm that's exactly what sram is doing today with pretty much all their group sets that also means that the installation of these new cranks is different in the past, we used the two pinch bolts to keep the crank arm in place, one on each side. And to take out the play, we used this end cap that had to be tightened up with a special tool. Instead of that, at the end of the 24 millimeter spindle, we have this spline that's gonna interconnect to the drive side crank. You also have this little cap, like a preload adjuster from the past. All you need is an eight millimeter hex key. On the spindle itself, now we have this little shoulder that most probably prevents us from over tightening that drive side crank arm, making it easier to remove. As for taking out the side to side play here on the spindle, we don't use this uh, tensioner anymore, but what we use is this ring that you see right here next to the non drive side crank arm. You might recognize this from the SRAM design, even though this is a nice, big, thick, round adjuster, which probably tells you that the SRAM patent on this wasn't rock solid, so Shimano was able to go around it. As for the other details of this new Shimano Q's U6000 crank set, this is still a Holotech 2 type of crank set. And as usual, here at the back, you're gonna see both the part number, this is manufactured in Malaysia and you're going to see the length this being 170 millimeter 175 is also available the spider that uses four bolts this is the 96 millimeter PCD asymmetrical pattern they also have a 110 millimeter spider which is standard depending on the size of your chain ring this is a 32 as you can see right over here also on the chain ring, what you're gonna see is dynamic chain engagement, which is pretty much their way of saying that this is a narrow wide profile. Do not uh, confuse this with the 12 speed narrow wide profile of their chain rings in which the teeth are a bit thinner and also a bit taller than this. Chain ring is made out of steel completely and it's again installed here on the spider with the four bolts. The spider cannot be removed. And if you look carefully, you're gonna see that this is a nice grayish finish, nicer than Dior, I would say. There's no film protecting the crank arm whatsoever, even though when shipped, it's gonna come with something like this. But this is obviously just used just to keep the finish clean uh, for transportation purposes. 
all in all this U6000 is probably expected to be seen on entry level mountain bikes and even though in all their documentation they mention link glide you're not gonna see a link glide here on the cranks or the chain rings pretty much anywhere. As for the weight of the cranks, dry side crank and chain ring comes up to 478 grams. As for the non-drive side with the spindle, that's 406. And you add the little bolt, that's 425. Altogether, this comes up to 905 grams. Now that weight is quite high even compared to the cheaper Dior's that I looked at in the past, even compared to the Power Spline SX if you ask me. However, remember a couple of things. Number one, when Shimano introduced Link Glide, they talked about longevity, three times longer lasting components. Maybe that has something to do with this. And number two, did you guys look at the pricing of these components? Because they're really, really aggressively priced. If you check out the Shimano website, you're gonna find four Q's group sets. U4000, which is a nine speed, U6000, 10 speed, and then you have the 6000, this one, and the 8000 that are 11 speed group sets. And depending on the chain ring that they use, they provide both the 50 and 52 millimeter chain line that can be used with modern group sets. That being said, all these drivetrains use the same new Link Glide compatible 11 speed chain. They have the same pull ratio, but I'm gonna cover most of that in a video when I get my hands on the shifting bits of this M uh, or U6000, which is the more trail oriented group set out of the four. So what do you guys think? Do you like this new crank set design? Do you think this is going to be baked in the future mountain biking group sets from Shimano? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And until next time, I will see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.